<laughs> no, come on. I just ate a banana. No. And now bananas? I have to sit next to him. And then he, stop it. It smells so awful. It smells like a banana. We are in Loreto, and we're about to leave Loreto. But I guess first things first, we really enjoyed the couple days we spent here. This is a really nice place to stop over. Some people will spend their entire winter here. I don't think I would ever do that, but I would stop here again, hands down. Yeah, I I'd, liked it. I'd stay in this RV park, hands down. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was good, it was good. So I guess that's it for Loretto. Now it's on to- Go play at the beach. I, I miss the beach. Yeah, me too. It's been like five days since we've been there, but I, I still miss it. Technically there's a beach just down the way, but it's not really a beach. Loretto's beach isn't all that spectacular. No, it's not. But, but, but. <laughs> we're within two hours of the Bay of Conception. We're going to camp. Ideally, we're going to camp at El Requison. Yeah, I'm excited about it's, that one. It's a picturesque. You've probably seen pictures of it. If you haven't already, you are now because I'm popping them up there in the video. It is a beautiful beach. Hopefully the wind will cooperate. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the flies will cooperate. Hopefully it's It'll not be packed. Yeah, hopefully it'll be perfect. Mm -hmm. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Ready. from beautiful El Requison. We've been here a couple days camping and we wanted to share some of the things that we really enjoyed about this place. The obvious thing about this place is it is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful clear water, white sandy beach. You can camp as far down the sandbar as you'd like to. Um, and, some... it, and it's unique. It's different from all the other beaches here in Bay of Conception. You've probably seen pictures of it. It is, it is definitely famous for sure. Probably the most famous beach on uh, the Bay of Conception. And, and it's because of this really cool sandbar. And once the tide goes out, you can walk to your own little private island. Lindsay's out paddling our iRockers up right now. I'm going to go hike with the dog on the other side of the island. We should meet up with her. You cannot ask for a better day here at El Requison. It's the other side of the Bay of Conception. Lindsay's gonna be popping out around the corner in just a moment.
It's obviously, it is great for water sports. So if you have your stand-up paddleboard, your kayak, um, if you just want to snorkel, swim, the water is clear. We saw tons of marine life as we were paddleboarding the other day. There were stingrays, there were trumpet fish. Tons of angel fish. Angel fish, there were, I mean, just all kinds of marine life. Puffer fish, my favorite. <laughs> I don't know why. No, siempre no. There's also no long-term campers here. A lot of the people that camp here are just here for a couple of nights, maybe a week, and that's it. And that makes this place a great, a great place to stop for a couple days. Um, you could stay here longer, I guess, if you wanted to, but it's a great place for three, four, five days. Definitely want to spend a night here, so if you're breaking up your drive, this should be the place to do it. Um, but if you are spending some time in, on the Bay of Conception, it's definitely worth a night or two right here at Requesson. A couple things that you should consider when you plan to stay here is that it can get busy, especially on the weekends. Uh, this is a popular place with locals and also with visitors. During the holiday season, um, Semana Santa during the summer. There are actually buses from Ule that will bring people here. Um, so it can get busy. There's only a few palapas, so a lot of times when you pull in here, all the palapas will be taken, but we have not minded not having no, one. We have camped further space. down. We've camped further down on the sandbar and we've liked it a lot where we've where we've parked. Also, depending on the time of year, this can get pretty windy. And we are in the wind season for Baja here in the winter. And so it is spectacular scenery. It is spectacular being here, but the wind is definitely kicked up. Yeah, we did have one really nice, not windy day. It felt surreal. Yeah. Like when we were paddle boarding, you could see all the way out to where the bay begins in the Sea of Cortez. It was stunning. In fact, and it's just so flat. I wanted to paddle to Mulahe. I told Lindsay <laughs> she could pick me up in Mulahe, 35 miles huh? away. Because you probably was, could have done it. Oh, it was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So it has its days, and the winter time is probably when you're going to be here. If you come in the summer, any time in, in Baja in the summer, anywhere in Baja is going to be it's going to be hot and it's going to be buggy. So if you're planning your trip here, you're probably planning it here in the winter time. Expect to have some wind. For us, we've noticed that it's calm in the mornings, and then the wind usually picks up. And and the reason why it gets windy here is that you're not in a protected bay. Uh, you're on a sandbar that juts out into the middle of the Bay of Conception. There is a little island here to our left that can protect some of the wind, but depending on which way the wind's blowing, it's not protected. It's yeah. not like it's in a cove. You're pretty like much fully exposed. Other... Yeah. You're, so. I mean, we're literally camped in the middle of what should be water. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're on a sandbar well. that should be covered in water. So that's how exposed you are if you camp here. Our experience here at El Requizan has been amazing. Uh, we've been here a couple of days and we've just had such a great time here. 
the night sky has been clear, beautiful. We can see stars. There's only a little bit of noise from the highway. It's better than other beaches that we've stayed at here. Um, yeah, we're a little more off the highway here, which has been nice because there are a lot of semi trucks that drive down and use their brakes. We had one night that was, I mean, it was magical. It was, oh my gosh, it was spectacular. Just bioluminescence everywhere. We are outside. You can't see me right now, um, but the bioluminescence here at Requison Beach is amazing. We're just walking along the shore and every one of Lindsay's footsteps is lighting up. Look at that. Whoa, it's like thick of it. Ah! It's sticking to my feet. It is awesome. We've enjoyed our time here in El Requison and we definitely think it's worth a stop for you. So we had a magical time here and obviously we can't guarantee that you will as well, but we can say you are going to enjoy your time camping at El Requison. So make sure that when you are in the area of the Bay of Conception to at least camp here for one night. Or seven. Do it. <laughs>